Futures uh, initially dropping to session lows uh, in the last 15 minutes before uh, rebounding a little bit after the CPI data stoked inflation fears. The headline year-over-year -year CPI increase is the largest since September of 2008. Uh, joining us now, Thomas Petterfee, chairman and founder of Interactive Brokers. We've got so much to talk to you about, uh, Thomas, but can we just talk about the, where we are in your view after that number we just saw in terms of inflation? And I know that if, if you live through that, uh, how insidious inflation can be and how, you know, it, watching bond, uh, the prime rate at 21 and a half, at the same time that we had high unemployment, it was the, a misery index that in today's terms is almost unfathomable when you, unfathomable, uh, when you think of where inflation plus unemployment was at the same time. Is, is there any way we could hit, be heading back there, or is it much too early to say that? Chairman and founder of Interactive Brokers, Thomas Petterfee. Well, I believe you're absolutely right. We are, we are uh, going back there when we're looking at um, annualized inflation rates in the double digits, uh, taxes rising, and... Uh, uh, so, you know, generally, we, we, we're, we're looking at a very difficult scenario uh, going into. Because it, it, we've been spoiled, I think. We don't know what that does to, to not just equities, but, but just to financial assets in general. And we've been on the flip side of a pretty favorable trend for how long, Thomas? This, this latest bond rally has gone back to that business we covered that said the end of the bond market, which I think was in, I don't remember what year that was, but we're talking decades. Do you think that we have now hit the inflection point uh, with, with what we look at for, for Fed policy and fiscal policy where it's just inevitable? That's, that's the point I think Stan Druckenmiller was making yesterday. I don't know if you saw that, but uh, this could be something that, that we need to pay attention to quickly. I, I did not see it, but uh, if that's what he said, he's absolutely right. I, I believe the, uh, the same thing. And, and uh, you know, I, whenever I hear numbers like this, I, I, I look back to my childhood growing up in Hungary where I was playing with billion-dollar banknotes, and I'm not, not dollar, billion foreign banknotes. <laughs> and uh, so money, money, the value of money, been to nothing, and and uh, so I'm I'm very worried that this is an unstoppable situation because the longer the Fed waits, the more they will have to raise the rates, and they we have to realize that at, at three and three quarters percent, the the annual debt surface is going to be a trillion dollars. So we are we basically are painting ourselves into a box, and I don't see how we're going to get out of. Well, I, I, the Fed has been, there's been a Fed put, to some extent, just figuratively, on a lot of, of what we've done. Uh, we're we're going to test that, it seems, or at least attempt to test it with, with the amount of, uh, of money we're going to spend on, on all these entitlements. And if we do $2 trillion, an additional $2 trillion, uh, you are going to see um, the Fed try to, I guess, orchestrate that with, with money printing. Would you stay long the stock market? Is there any way that, that, they, that you can delay this past one, two, three, four years, a, a day of reckoning? Well, ultimately, ultimately, we have to look at replacement values of, of, of companies which will rise. So ultimately, uh, if, if money becomes more and uh, worth less and less, the stock prices in nominal terms will have to rise, not for all companies, but many companies that uh, have to have uh, substantial uh, resources and, and, and assets on, the, uh, on their books to, in order to keep on producing. So uh, that, uh, I would still think that, that investing is going to be much better than keeping your money in cash, right? Yeah. <laughs> or in bonds. I, when I visited... Uh, uh, Budapest. It's, it's an amazing, beautiful city, but you see, you can see the architecture where the Soviet Union built things versus what it used to be. So I, I guess you're pretty well versed in, in state controlled uh, enterprises, and, and you probably have a strong feeling that they don't work. Do you see that maybe we're the state's growing a little bit in, in this country at this point? Are you surprised 
Is it uh, going to be pushed back? I, I'm not really surprised because I've seen it coming for a long time, but uh, I'm, I'm just stunned that people are unwilling to look at the past and, and look at other countries' experiences with, with collectivism, and uh, they don't turn away from it. So it's, it's frightening to me. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.